Hi, my grade one artist. Today, we are gonna make this colorful butterfly with a coffee filter. But before we do anything, I want us to do a little experiment on different types of markers. There are many types of markers, but I want us to look at water-based marker, which is washable, and oil-based marker, another name for it is permanent marker. We are gonna find out how these two markers are different from one another. We start with the water-based markers. For some marker brand, it's written that it's washable. Okay, what I'm gonna do is taking one of those washable markers and make a little scribble on the paper. I'm gonna do the same, but this time with an oil-based marker. Just a little scribble on it. I'm gonna spray some water on both scribbles and you will see what's gonna happen. You see, only the scribble done with the water-based marker is bleeding while there's nothing happening on the oil-based one. And now, boys and girls, we are going to transform these coffee filters into a butterfly. And can you guess what type of marker we have to use to create this beautiful watercolor effect wings? That's right, water-based markers. After coloring, we are going to add the water to let all the pigments blend into each other. So this is the fun part where we spray the water on both coffee filters. You can give enough squirts until you see the colors you applied on the filter are spreading with the water to blend into each other. After giving enough water, we just keep those filters in designated area until they are fully dry. Many hours later, I find my coffee filters all dry and crisp. What I want you to do now is finding the seam on the coffee filter and separate them. You have to do it really carefully because our filter is very fragile and we don't want to break it. We're going to do the same on the other one, finding the seam and separate them very carefully. Now we use this pipe cleaner to make a body of our butterfly. We bend it in half and holding it tight, we twist the bottom half with the fingers. You notice that it's turned into a shape of uppercase Y. And now you take your butterfly wings and arrange them like this. For upper wings, this side that looks like two little mountains will go to the top of the butterfly. While for the lower wings, these mountains will go to the bottom of the butterfly. You watch it carefully now. We do pinch, pinch, and pinch three times for the lower wing. And here we go again. Pinch, pinch, and pinch three times for the upper wing. Now we just need to adjust this beautiful shape with a pipe cleaner. Make sure that it goes from the bottom and we twist a little in the upper part. Then we are done with the body of the butterfly and naturally we also created this beautiful pair of antenna of our butterfly. Okay boys and girls, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!